Hello and welcome to BeatingDyslexia.com. In this video we're going to be looking at one possible cause of dyslexia. This is the Phonological Disorder Theory by Janet Hatcher and Margaret J. Snowling. This theory suggests that dyslexic people have a phonological disorder that affects the mental representation of the smallest units of speech sound, the phonemes. The fact that the majority of dyslexic people show some short-term memory problems adds a great deal of weight to this argument. However, the phonological deficit is not an international condition it's most prominent in languages with a great deal of irregular spelling, such as English. OK, before we start wading into this theory then, let's get a couple of things cleared up. First off, what is a phonological disorder? Well, basically, it hinders a dyslexic person's phonological representation of the smallest units of speech sound. OK, but what is a phonological representation? Well, it's basically how we think about speech sound. It allows us to break words down into their smallest units of sound and then build them back up again. It's how we understand, remember, and reproduce speech sound. How, then, does the phonological disorder affect a dyslexic person? Well, it's not fully understood exactly how dyslexic people might be affected by the phonological disorder. The main idea is that dyslexic people may have less precise representations this will create confusion when dealing with the smallest units of speech sound, the phonemes. For example, the word dog can be broken down into three phonemes, its smallest units of sound. D, O, G. This is of course a three letter word which is made up of three phonemes. However, the word read is a four-letter word that only has three phonemes. R, E, D. Fundamentally, this theory argues that phonological representation in dyslexic people is impaired. This is what creates confusion when dealing with the phonemes. One of the key symptoms of the phonological disorder is poor short-term verbal memory. This is of course a very common problem for dyslexic people. We use our short-term verbal memory to blend sounds together when reading unfamiliar words. This is why an inability to read non-words, words that have been made up, is one of the strongest indicators of phonological dyslexia. Problems with short-term verbal memory naturally lead to problems with long-term verbal memory as well. For example, dyslexic people may often forget the names of others. The fact that the majority of dyslexic people have problems with short-term verbal memory adds weight to the argument for the phonological disorder theory. With a language with lots of irregular spellings, such as English, Having a good short-term verbal memory must be of fundamental importance. One of the problems with this theory is that the phonological disorder is not the same all over the world. It is much more prominent in languages which use more irregular sound-to-letter combinations, such as English. This may be seen as a fundamental flaw in the theory. OK, to sum up then. The phonological disorder theory is generally the most popular explanation of dyslexia. 
and there is a great deal of research evidence to support it. However, just like all the other theories that try to explain the cause of dyslexia, it is not perfect. The main idea of this theory is that dyslexic people struggle to work with the smallest units of speech sound. However, there is still a larger and more important question of why 